In this video, we will look at finite and infinite sets. If the cardinality of a set is a whole number, zero or any natural number, we call that set a finite set. We can count all of the elements in that set given enough time. Some sets are so large that it is impossible to count all of their elements. The counting numbers are such a set. When a set is so large that its cardinality cannot be expressed in terms of a whole number, we call it an infinite set. Example, we're going to de designate an infinite set, and in particular, we're going to designate all odd counting numbers by the three common methods of set notation. So first, we're going to do a word description, and that's just going to be something like the set of all odd counting numbers. For the listing method, we can use an ellipsis to do this. So we'll have our open brace, and then we'll start by listing one, three, five, seven. And by this time, we've got enough of a pattern that we can just put in an ellipsis and close out our braces. Somebody reading this will know that we are talking about all odd numbers because we've listed one, three, five, seven, the first four odd numbers. We could add a few more if we wanted to. We could probably get away with just you using one, three, and five. Finally, we want to do this in set builder notation. And we're going to come up with a way to write this. Well, there are a couple ways to do this. And the easiest way is just to write that this is the set of x such that x is an odd counting number. But there are other ways we can write this set. For example, we could say that this is the set of x such that x equals 2k minus 1, where k is a natural number. Because 2k has to be an even natural number. And if we subtract one from that, we'll have an odd natural number, which is an odd counting. 